What's going on? Chilling here, man. Uh, you know, drinking me some coffee. Looking on the tube, man. Uh, that YouTube that is. I don't watch TV very much at all. It's too satanic these days and just annoying. You know what I'm saying? I hate feeling like uh, uh. I don't know. I, I I just hate when people be playing games, and I feel like TV is just a big joke. Like they're really, they're like ha ha ha. You got egg on your face. Ha ha ha. You know what I'm saying? As you're watching it, it's like, are you not entertained? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got better things to do. I got study. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, I could always go to train, but look, even that has to take a back seat to study. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, if you stop studying, you know what I'm saying? You're not really, you're not still diligently seeking. You know what I'm saying? Training, it does, you get self-discovery sometimes, but uh, what's beyond self-discovery? You know what I'm saying? If you can't admit there is such a thing, well, I think you're selfish. You know what I'm saying? You're uh, a little, maybe a little vain. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. I've been there. I've been vain in my in my day. I used to be real proud, confident pool player. And, you know, I'd kind of gloat and stunt. You know what I'm saying? And go, eh? You know what I'm saying? But I could do that because uh, I, my skills do back it up. But these things are just, these things are just, you know, they're little minor things. You know what I'm saying? What our greatest achievements are but uh, dust in the wind. I was going to say breaking the wind but yeah i guess i have to work on my presentation here because people are so tenderfoot that uh you can't have real talk with them and uh you know it is what it is but that's fine but here's something you know it's like i guess you don't have to you don't have to like how i speak or the things that i say you don't have to listen it's fine you know what I'm saying? Uh, if I'm the only guy you're hearing it from, well, you've already ran away from it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's fine. Just continue to continue to live in denial about things. Uh, but here's something. You know, it was like people always, you know, try to share their videos with me, and uh, you know, uh, I, there's there's certain kind of preachings. But especially, you know, no disrespect to this, this is the way you were schooled. Uh, it's the podium. It's like, uh, there's only like one, maybe a few guys I can listen on the podium. But that's because they were, It's this is of older times. Like uh, Derek Prince. I can listen to Derek Prince because, uh, uh, I don't know, he breaks, he does good breakdowns. You know what I'm saying? So it's, since it's, he's a teacher... You know, I can put aside that, you know, like I like, I'm pretty uh advanced. So, you know, I don't like to get, uh you know, uh I don't like people to slowly break things down and then try to give me their interpretations uh over and over and expound on these little small points. You know what I'm saying? While we, uh it's like, I feel like time. We're in a race against time. We're in a battle against time. And, uh. You got to get to the heart of the matter quicker. No, no sense in dancing around on these surface subjects. And I realize this thing. It's like this. It's there's a part in the Bible where it says that that his sheep will hear his voice. And some of these people, when I hear them speaking and preaching or teaching, I don't hear God's voice. I hear them speaking. They're quoting the Bible and talking about things pertaining to the Bible. But I don't, it doesn't jump out at me. Like some people jump out at me. They might disagree with me. They might hate me. They might mock me. But I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if I hear God's voice, well, then uh, I'm, that's where I'm going to listen. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm going to draw from. You know, I, I got my own Bible. I got access to the internet. I can, I got Google and all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got friends that we've have had deep, deep years and years of conversation argument debate and a lot of we also agree on many 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 points but you know this is our own personal relationship you know what i'm saying there is a, a between my personal though we mutually agree in the overall 
But my personal is my personal. Your personal is your personal. I can't tell. I can't make you walk it. I can't walk it for you. This is on you. And I guess it's on me too. And if we have to depart and be cut asunder, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like some of the apostles were, it's fine. So be it. If it's in God's will, why, why fight against it? But like I said, the seminary, I think, is the reason why I don't hear God's voice in there. Because it's so pompy, ceremonial. And it reminds me of the academic fascism that I see in colleges and uh, the academics, the elites of things. And here's another thing. If seminary school is your, your end-all, be-all, how come all these people that went into seminary led us to the churchianity that we're in? You know what I'm saying? In the false mega churches, and it's they've turned it into mammon. They turned a house of prayer into mammon. You know what I'm saying? And uh, how come I can see that, but others, you know, uh, give them give these people a pass that deceive the brethren and lead them astray back into materialism, back to Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of my character flaws or whatnot, the word of God is perfect. You know, is my understanding of it perfect? Not always. God willing, I'll, I'll learn, though. He'll, he'll, he'll instruct me. You know what I'm saying? The great physician will instruct me and, and heal my, my, uh, my mind, renew my mind in time. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so, and here's the thing. I mean, independently of all these people, like I said, I've been totally turned off by, uh, certain methods of, presentation you know what i'm saying uh, i like straightforwardness i like tell me all the tell me the good and the bad news you know what i'm saying explain to me the hard to understand things explain to me the easy thing you know what i'm saying don't point to the mountain and strike the grindstone with me you know what i'm saying because listen i know i know you know what i'm saying i know more than i let on to believe because or did <laughs> i let people know that i know and because it's, you know, you got to be circumspect. Even though I, you know, had blast people with a beehive round of, with a good portion, you know what I'm saying, of genuine, true information, dude. It's not, because it didn't come from me. The, this information, do I give people a lot of uh, my perceptions on things? When I, when I, listen, here's the thing. To apply the word to my life, you have to stick, adhere to the Bible, but then again, you have to accurately express your own experience through what you know of the Bible and try to bring them together in a tangible fashion that people can understand. And you got to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. You got to be honest. Yeah, you know, and it's like, uh, if you're not honest, man, uh, you missed, you missed it already. You know what I mean? So. Though, yeah, honestly, am I a perfect person? No, never claimed to be. Never claimed to be a preacher. Uh, never really claimed to be a prophet. Like I said, people call me a prophet of doom. So they've called me that. You know what I'm saying? But I never called myself one. You know what I'm saying? Do I study the prophets? Listen to my videos and how much I quote, you know, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, uh, Daniel, Jesus. Think of all, I mean, just go and count them it's thousands of times. It's because they've made a deep impact on my understanding of things. Uh, so, just wanted to throw that out there that it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not going back to the thing that has uh, stopped us from really break, having a breakthrough. Uh, so, it's been working for me. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, all these things in there that, you know, all these prophecies, these vague prophecies, you know, I can discern them in my life. There is the fruit of the word is that, boom, it connects. Someone gets it. I know. I mean, you don't have to believe that. You can be, ah, oh, whatever. You make up whatever excuse you want to. You're, it's not going to stop me from pursuing this. The way that I, you know, I feel that it's, that I'm being drawn to, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like not, it's not me all the time. This is a, 
And it's a team effort. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I see it. So I can't take no credit for it because my my team members are stronger than I. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, and, and they're also, you know, hey, they're good. I'm uh, just a man. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, if it wasn't for great mercies, I wouldn't be able to be here right now making this video. So, that's what I really need to bring into remembrance here. And uh, like I said, man, it's like you're gonna don't don't hold up something as a shield that has caused so much confusion and contention. God is not the author of confusion. So why is why is just watch uh, TV preachers and tell me how how you can say that they're not confused. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't watch none of them. That's how come I can uh, go like this. Wait a second. It's not what the Bible says. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, there's the fruit. There's the proof. You know what I'm saying? Be not deceived. Be uh, ever watchful. I mean, these, are, these aren't just suggestions. It's a commandment. You know what I'm saying? So, just wanted to give some encouragement. You know what I'm saying? To... Uh, and a double portion unto those, you know, who wish unto me 